This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. something else they're doing different here. They're talking about instituting a junior heavyweight division and uh, Meltzer would say, although junior heavyweight may not be the semantic term for it, the news coming just a few shy weeks of the top WCW officials were in Japan and saw Jushin Langer is probably not coincidental. If WCW does institute its own title, which would more than likely not be announced on the June 12th clash of the champions from Knoxville, one would think it's candidate to build the division around would be Brian Pillman. The immediate reaction to this is two totally polarized views. View number one held by an awful lot of people in the business, particularly is that tagging Pillman with the junior heavyweight tag and putting a junior title on him will almost be a death knell to his career. Another held by those who have seen the division used viably, particularly by new Japan is that this is a move that will open up a new level of excitement to American pro wrestling. Jim, we know this is ultimately, eventually going to become the cruiserweight division, but they do a stop and start exactly as he suspects here with Pillman and, and Liger. And Pillman does get a run here uh, with this smaller championship. Did you think that tag, calling him a cruiserweight or a light heavyweight or a junior heavyweight, whatever, was perhaps the kiss of death in wrestling? I think it was the wrong way to go. I think because of the the audience had outgrown, uh, some of the terms. In other words, junior, uh, basically equates to less than a heavyweight. Uh, yeah. And, uh, it's it reminds us boxing. I don't mean to cut you off, but boxing in this era, Jim, it was all about the heavyweights. Yeah. It was all about Mike Tyson. It was all about Evander Holyfield. If it wasn't a. Uh, a heavyweight fight, it was considered less than in, in, yep. in, in this context. Now that that's going to change. It wasn't like this before. It won't be like this after, but going back to the Ali days and Jack Dempsey, and now we're in Mike Tyson, it feels like, Hey man, it's heavyweight or bust for box office, right? Yeah. A lot of talents were very uncomfortable being, uh, categorized as a cruiserweight yes. or a lightweight, light heavyweight or, uh, whatever. Um, uh, and. You know, it reminds me of a story that I remember, uh, Sean Wolman, good old X-Pac, who's also in the podcast business. I'm always pulling with that kid. I had since day one. Some days he didn't give me a lot of reasons to pull for him, but uh, I liked the hell out of it. So, uh, he told me one time he got a payoff for something that I made. And he says, uh. You know, this cruiserweight shit's killing me. He said, what are you doing? Pay me by the pound. So no, Sean, I'm not paying you by the fucking pound. So, uh, but the guys are just very conscious of it. They thought it affected their pay. And in some ways it may have. So I, I think we just outgrew the damn thing. I don't, you know, I don't know that, you know, in, at least in AEW, we have two major titles for the men and they have nothing to do with weight class. You know, uh, the, T, the TNT title and of course the AEW title it has nothing to do with how much the guys weigh when they, as they, as mean Gene would say, tip the Toledo's just not, there's just not, there's no, there's none of that there. So I think that's, that's a better solution than where we were trying to go back then. I understand it was back then, but, uh, a lot of the talents when they knew they were going to be put into the cruiserweight, junior heavyweight, like whatever the, whatever term you want to use, uh, area, that's where you're going to reside. They quickly wanted to find a real estate agent and move because they just felt like it was the kiss of death and they're never going to be considered as, as a uh, formidable as a heavyweight and therefore would lose. They weren't going to headline any pay-per-views. They're going to be support staff and right. they're going to be paid accordingly. And, and most of them didn't want to be putting that uh, kettle of fish. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money, it's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at savewithconrad.com.